How's it going, people? I am doing splendidly. Today is the first day of my vacation. Tomorrow's Forbstown Days, which is like our little uh, carnival kind of thing up here. Kind of like a fair. And the one of my neighbors down the road is roasting an entire pig. And there will be kegs of beer there. And I'm invited. Oh, and I got a new... Um, Love letter from my friends at the Church of Scientology. And uh, you can see in the return address, it's V. Walker is identifying himself. I guess in case the mail comes back or something. I don't know. Anyhow, it hasn't been open. But I feel a tiny bit of weight to this one. This was in the mail yesterday. So I'm doing pretty good for me. But I gave it a little squeeze and I went, hmm, this one might be worth opening. Ah, oh, it's hot up here. I guess it's hot everywhere right now. It's uh, August 4th, Friday. And I'm going to try to get this video up quicker than I usually do. I've got other videos I haven't put up, but... Um, all right, self-addressed postage paid envelope, and he didn't put his name on top. Let's see, got all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, hey, maybe I'll send him this tract after I read it up to you guys. You know, I might be helping the other church out. Anyway, this will uh, go back their way. And, ooh, ooh, okay, first the epistle. And this feels like it's more, it's, it's a page, handwritten. Oh, and it's something else. Okay. <coughs> Let's get started. Pretty much cash. All right. Um, and this is a it's dated 7-25-2017. So, must have been a little hold up there. You know, snail mail. What can you do? Hello, Richard. I notice you purchased oh, the problems of work. Uh, boy, very difficult to read this person's writing. Don't you say? All right. Uh, oh, film! Uh, <laughs> film? That was a DVD, damn it. <laughs> Someone stuck in the 70s. Uh -huh. The perfect course for work work something. Wow, I can't read this guy's writing. Or, or maybe it's a woman's. Uh, work film. All right. Um, the perfect course for you is personal efficiency. I like the way this is written. It's like, uh, <laughs> efficiency! That's the most inefficient bit of handwriting in this entire epistle. Go back to school and then get to me. Um, a one of a, a one afternoon course based on that film, which was a DVD. Uh, <laughs> It was a flick. And you got the book Problems of Work to go with the course. Here's the thing. I, I stopped having problems at work. I'm doing great. Going on 28 years. Damn it. 
I'll be retiring in another three to five. <sighs> so, so far, pretty damn happy. Dangerously close to it. And uh, just did it all myself. How about that? I believe you would like the course and get a lot out of it. Call to enroll sincerely. I really can't be sure. Walker. Something starts with a V. It looks like there's a K. Maybe two. I think it's Vicky. Vicky. Sweetie, get a life. Get away from this cult. Start hanging on to your own money. That's some free advice. And you didn't have to take a damn course. You've already been taken to school. Uh, attend the pers the personal efficiency course. Well, I do admit, I personally could be a lot more efficient. I just don't trust these people to help me. Or any other cult. And they're all cults. Sunday, July 30th. Well, maybe I got it last week. Huh. Could have sworn it was just the other day. I right, do it in the back of my car. Or maybe there's another one <laughs> that I got recently. All right, well, this one is actually late. Okay, it, this, my bad. Uh, <laughs> Sunday, July 30th. Yeah, I was uh, busy doing something else. At the Capitol Mission, which is practically next to where I work, uh, your supervisor, Joe Holtz. That's the guy, badly Xeroxed. Uh, oh, some successes from recent PE courses. Oh, I love testimonials with initials. They're so damn convincing. What a great way to get back into the church. I was never in this church. I almost got there. I was dangerously close, and I got talked out of it. I mean, really. 19 years old? I wasn't even an atheist yet. <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck I was. I was trying all kinds of religion. And this one was uh, really interesting to me. And I would have fallen for this shit at that age. And I wouldn't have this house right now. I wouldn't probably, probably wouldn't be retiring in three to five years. That'd be a part of something bigger than me. Isn't that nice? It's nice to belong to something. It's not like you're owned or anything. <laughs> it was awesome going over the eight dynamics and using the greatest good for the greatest number of dynamics, in quotes. Uh, sounds like Magic the Gathering somehow. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, that card game. Uh, <laughs> You're gaining, a, you just picked up some more dynamics. <laughs> Way to go, Sonic. The fucking hedgehog. Hmm. Okay. I will definitely apply this tech in my life. Also, Going over the ARC triangle was awesome. It didn't stink. I will be sure to be aware of using it during my life. But don't be too self-conscious. It's going to trip you all up. I mean, think of all those uh, you know, major league pitchers that thought about their technique and couldn't throw again. Sometimes 
sometimes you got to think, and sometimes you got to don't think. Those little placards that say that there. Probably can't see it on the camera. Uh, because there's a time for both. But anyway, uh, <laughs> the tone scale was a very good tool to use. So, in conclusion, I have several tools to use in my life. GR, GR, you're probably a tool. Their tool. Another testimonial. <laughs> this was excellent! Just being honest to the text. I loved the video, Problems of Work. It was okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was worth free. It, if you had to pay anything for it, it wasn't really worth it then. You can get it at any thrift store on DVD for a quarter, probably. I saw it there after I bought it. <sighs> oh, what the hell, I wanted to get mailings from them. And I have, and it's been worth it. Okay. Uh, Problems of Work has always been one of my favorite books. Yeah, and Paul Ryan's is Atlas Shrugs, so fucking what? I happen to like Greg Matthews' Heart of Country. Find that book. It is the funniest tragedy. <sighs> anyway. Uh, but I learned things tonight that I never knew before, and we'll share those. We'll share this with those I care about. Thanks so much. DS. So you read the book, you studied it, and you went to this course and they had added new shit already that you didn't know before. Well, that's because it's a perfect text and doesn't need any uh, amendments or uh, accretions. <coughs> Editorial accretions. Okay. Understanding exhaustion. I know it well, but I'm not feeling it now. My magic desk. <laughs> oh, I gotta get through this. Mm. Understanding exhaustion. Understanding the eight dynamics and how they affect each individually. Kind of like the butterfly effect and all that shit. Maybe. <laughs> Has me, wait, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, individually, has me thinking outside the box. He even capitalized outside and box. He or she, it's SS. SOS. <laughs> Needs help. Outside the box in interacting and reacting to situations and people. Thank you, SS. I'm glad you're be doing better now. Uh, it's probably worth the price that you're still paying. Uh, call Linda Ferris and make your reservation, but it's too late. This, there's another epistle I think I got recently. Uh, I threw it in the back of my car. This was back there, too, and I thought this was it. <laughs> I tell you, this shit piles up on you. Uh, Scientology is a trademark and service mark and a skid mark on your life uh, owned by Religious Technology Center. They should make a Lego movie out of that. Uh, and used with its permission. Oh, thank you. 
services relating to Scientology, religious philosophy, are delivered throughout the world exclusively by licensees of the Church of Scientology with the permission of Religious Technology Center. Oh, okay, and a trademark and all that shit, so anyway, they own that shit, and that's all that. Let's, what, do, what do they bring me? All right, let's see. Personal efficiency course. Hmm. Oh, sorry, that wasn't very efficient of me. <laughs> let's take a quick peek. It's a course. Ah. And it's like they did this little uh, film strip. Did, did that work? Did that work? Try it backwards. Okay. Make it work with Scientology. Oh, 70% of your life is spent working. Make it work with Scientology. Then you can work for Scientology and pay them. Sounds great. Work is 70% of life. And when you know how life operates, you can be successful at work. Oh man, life. And the whole, the whole thing. Based on L. Ron Hubbard's Scientology book, The Problems of Work, the personal efficiency course gives you the Scientology knowledge that you can apply immediately and succeed. Okay. Ooh. So. Success begins with personal efficiency course. <clears throat> Attend a course in Scientology. Life is stable and rewarding when you can handle it. Duh. And this is the simple and practical way to learn how. So get your credit card ready. You're going to need it. Or at least they will. Um, here is the means to new ability and lasting security. Because you're probably mighty insecure if you need these people. In the workplace, and probably life in general. Uh, all from application of Scientology to the workaday world with the problems of work by L. Ron Hubbard. Why don't we go ask Miss Cabbage about work? I'm sure he's a busy, busy beaver. Conducted by trained specialists, this course provides personal instruction in application of Scientology do you need an applicator? Don't they just have suppositories instead? Just thinking efficiently. Uh, so, you can use its discoveries to improve your life and increase happiness at once. But I'm already happy! Pretty happy. I'm not in debt. I own this house outright, I just gotta fix it up some more. Yeah. And I still got a job of 28 years, and I don't have to give the money to anybody except Uncle Sam and utilities, and whoever I want to give it to. I just keep the rest. Uh, thank you, Scientology, for nothing. On what does success depend? Well, probably being a drone, falling in with the rest of the sheep. 
there's always need for more sheep and their money. On what does success depend? Is it intelligence? I don't know. I mean, who just got elected president? He says he's a real smart guy. So, why not take his word for it? Just believe him. And not that lying everything else. <laughs> is it who you know? Often. Or is it luck? Uh, you could call it good fortune. Uh, by knowing the underlying rules of life and applying their principles, you will achieve security in your job. Relationships and all other areas of living. Ensuring success. <laughs> All right, just want to make sure I read this right. Uh, confusion. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, learn to conquer chaos by implementing a single principle that stabilizes confusion and creates order. By understanding what confusion is actually made of, you can stop it instantly. Sounds wonderful. Magical. Magical thinking. The anatomy of control. Or the recipe of control, perhaps. I mean, everyone uses control. All activities require it. But to many people, control has a bad name. Well, there's a yin and a yang going on there. That's all. How positive and negative. <sighs> Learn the difference between good and bad. <coughs> that was good. Mm. Uh, control. Well, I wasn't in control of that. It was going to happen anyway. Um, the factors determining your ability to control are explained in this course. Thank you. In advance. Affinity, reality, and communication. This is all familiar stuff, but okay. Creating, understanding, and improving human relationships hinges on three things that he's thought of. Affinity, reality, and communication. I mean, reality is especially important. And facing it is even more important. Because it's happening anyway. Whether you don't acknowledge it or not. That's the, that's the thing about reality. It's the only thing real. It's reality. This other shit, it's illusionary. It's an idea. A concept. And you know what? I say learn from many sources. But, uh, don't stick with just one. A R C is a Affinity, reality, and communication. All good things. I like them. Especially affinity. <sighs> it's so affable. Learn how ARC is used to improve every part of life. Not just yours, but plankton and all that. The whole ecosystem benefits, perhaps. if I'm reading that correctly. ARC and Tone Scale. Is it possible to predict if someone is going to be trustworthy, a good employee, or a good friend? 
sometimes, but be skeptical anyway. Human emotions can seem to be unpredictable. They can seem that way, I guess. Some people, they are unpredictable. And others are kind of predictable. If you're paying attention and keeping track as you live life, you'll learn to make only new mistakes because you paid for the other ones that you already had and learn to recognize variations of thereof. That's my own advice and it's free. Human emotions can seem to be unpredictable if one does not understand a tone scale. Yeah, you learn to read people. Um, it's a good idea. I mean, I learned it from dogs. They're very good at it, man. I mean, they don't look each other in the face, but they look you in the face and they go, okay, these guys are so readable. I don't need to understand human. I understand human by looking. Yeah, and that's why I get along with most dogs, especially the big ones. Uh, these are vital tools for handling all matters of human relationships, except when they're not, because nothing's infallible. The eight dynamics <coughs> discover how life can be understood by compartmentalizing it into eight main divisions. Well, everyone compartmentalized I just didn't know there was a set number. Lots of compartments. Everybody's compartmentalized, aren't they? Or is it just me and I just admitted something terrible to the world about myself? That I compartmentalize sometimes, but probably not enough. The A Dynamics is a Scientology breakthrough that opens up an entirely new comprehension of life and shows how it can be lived to the fullest. Well, more is always good, I guess, if it's a good thing. Exhaustion. Not yet. Getting there. Many people believe that the answer to exhaustion is energy. Yeah, let's slam another Red Bull there. But in truth, energy has little, if anything, to do with it. Because, yeah, you expend more, you get even more exhausted. That's why it's called exhausted, because you've exhausted your, your, uh, your uh, prowess, your uh, puissance. Puissance. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a goddamn French word. They got words that we just had to borrow because we didn't have words for that. All right. Um, understand exhaustion and learn an exact procedure that anyone can apply to defeat it. Or just talk to a long-distance marathon runner. And it's pretty much about pacing yourself, I believe. Knowing your limits and getting rest when you can and should. But not too much. The one who succeeds... What exactly does it take to be successful? Well, it's a random combination sometimes of the same shit, probably. All right. Here is a summary of the principles and elements presented in the personal efficiency course. <coughs> By understanding integrating and applying kind of same thing so uh, them into your daily life success can be yours but supplies are limited they always are life is composed of seven tenths of work and one tenth familial one tenth political Give or take, for each individual. 
probably. And one tenth relaxation. Well, you know, some of us apply some of that political over to the relaxation, and other people, the other way around. It's like, you know, you can sometimes shift those attribute points around. It's like in Dungeons and Dragons. I got new points, attribute points. Make me smarter! Good <laughs> you. Uh, okay. Here, then, is Scientology applied to that crucial seven tenths of existence. That's smart. You know, you know, do the worst first. Get out of the way. Nip it in the bud. That was my advice for free. Okay. The personal efficiency course contains the senior principles and laws. Wow. Principles and laws. Okay. You should do both, but one one group you have to, and the other one you just stupid if you don't. If there are principles, right? If you have principles. Or you just have to get someone else's principles. If you don't have any of your own. Which apply to our every endeavor, every problem of work. For they are the discoveries which lay bare the core of these problems, if you're having any. I'm doing pretty good most of the time, for the most part. And that other little bit of trouble is really no trouble. Ain't nothing but a thing. A fart in the wind. It's, it offends and it's gone. <sighs> anyway, the breakthroughs include the anatomy of confusion and its cure. It's got a cure for confusion. Probably stability, I would guess. They'll give it to you, working for them. The doctrine of the stable datum. The most fundamental law of work and living is the most fundamental, uh, the stable datum. Remember that. <laughs> the anatomy of control and how to turn bad control to good. You do learn that in life, even on your own sometimes. It's called Emotional intelligence, which is a whole different thing. <clears throat> and yeah, there's a book for that too. And yeah, I read it. it was all right. Some of it worked. Uh, the secret of efficiency. The most fundamental elements of life affinity, reality, and communication. The eight dynamics and how life can be understood by compartmentalizing it into eight main divisions. Kind of like an ice tray. <sighs> and the rock bottom cause of exhaustion. The most powerful. Scientology processes that return the energy of youth. Here, then, is not only a technology to bring stability to the workplace, but the magic process to return joy itself to all of life. I don't know what they mean by that. I mean all of your life? I guess it, 
you would influence people around you, but all of life? What, in your immediate vicinity? I don't know. I guess you got to take the course to find out. It'd be fun to be there just to ask that stupid question. <laughs> For this is Scientology. Enroll on the personal efficiency course. Use the enrollment form on the back and send it in today. You don't mean that. I'm late already. Yeah, maybe I will. <laughs> Say, hey, sorry I'm late, but I'm not very efficient. And you were very efficient for not fixing it. This should have done it, man. Look at all that space they have just to pimp out their pub. Uh, attend. Personal efficiency course. Scientology applied to your life. Scientology is offered daily. They made this sound like it was something I had to do right away. Daily. Uh, anyway, that is... That's it. So. Uh, what do you think I should... I still got a couple of these to send back. What do you, any suggestions? Something that, you know, might help somebody on the other end of the line? Because I'm here to help. Let me know if this changed your life, or if you learned something, or if I missed something. I don't mind being told. Peace. The fuck. Out. And have a wonderful day whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because it can't be half as good as mine, but even if it's half as good, it's pretty fucking awesome. I'm happy for you.